I've never been coached by Eric Bieniemy. I have no idea his intensity, his style, or anything of that nature. I was more surprised, and I guess this is the second time this preseason we heard Deshaun Payton. We saw his comments about Nathaniel Hackett. Ron Rivera, veteran head coach, ton of success in Carolina. I was surprised just to hear him talk about this. It wasn't as if a player had come out and complained about Eric Bieniemy or there had been reports based on it. So far, players have been positive about Bieniemy publicly, whether that's different behind closed doors. I was surprised to just hear Ron Rivera just go into it and go as far as to compare Eric Bieniemy to Jack Del Rio, the, the defensive coordinator on this team, and mentioned that Del Rio has head coaching experience and Ron Rivera himself has it as well. So they get to know their players before they kind of embark on whatever coaching style it was going to be. And that, to me, made it feel as though the enemy's lack of experience in the head coaching world maybe doesn't warrant him or he doesn't have that ability to do so. And he has his own coaching style. As I listen to it, I'm like, all right, is Rivera a fan of Biennemi's coaching style? Does he think he needs to change it? Is it not in the best interest of the team? Because going in, I'm sure when you hire this guy, you know the type of coach he is, how hard he is on his guys, and his level of love, tough love, however you want to call it, that he brings to the franchise. At the end of the day, they all want to win, but the way you go about that changes. I was just very surprised to hear this coming from the commanders themselves to talk about the issues that may be that players have with them or how they're handling it. I would think you would hear this kind of the grumblings on the outside and then them having to address it opposed to them bringing it up mm -hmm. themselves. If I'm a player, especially if I'm a Terry McLaurin, if I'm a Sam Howell, now when you have your media availability today, the first question that's being asked to you is, well, how do you like Eric Bieniemy as a coach? Because it seems always hard on people when it was your head coach saying mm -hmm. it. So to me, that's just very weird. You're bringing issues into the building that you don't have to. Yeah, and, and if, Kyle and I interviewed Ron Rivera at the Super Bowl, and it was before Bienemy was hired and everything, and we were just talking about that. And his description of what he wanted from a, a new offensive coach was going to be someone who could take this offense and take it higher with all these young guys. And it seems like Bienemy is the perfect fit. Coaching styles, it, sometimes you get guys that wouldn't necessarily be matched together, but then it works. I would say let's hold off and let's see. And you know, to me, Ron Rivera speaking publicly about obviously the reporter knew and was hearing those grumblings. Like this, does, you don't just come out of. Like, so let's talk about it. Clearly, if you're at practice, you see Bienemy getting in some of these guys' faces. You see the way he kind of coaches. And we've heard in the past that Eric Bienemy's not for everybody. If you're a player who likes to be coddled, or if you're a player who likes things a different way, he's combative at times, and that's not in a negative way. Players love playing for him. And like he said, he could be his toughest critic, but that is how he does it. Um, I want to see what happens now, though, because to your point, I, I don't think Eric Bieniemy was going up to that podium expecting those questions and expecting himself having to answer for his coaching style in the third week of training camp. Um, we've seen it in the past where there are often, like, I can go back to, like, Chan Gailey in Kansas City years ago. Sometimes it's like, all right, we're through August and... This isn't working. Like, mm -hmm. we're going to cut bait now and we're going to hire another offensive coordinator. Like, think crazy things happen. I don't think we're at that point yet. But gosh, to your point, I, again, Sean Payton's comments about Hackett, Rivera speaking about his offensive coordinator and saying, hey, this is what's really going on and I'm okay with it and we're going to be fine with it. Unprecedented times. And yeah. this is two veteran coaches. And again, Everything Sean Payton does, I said was intentional, and I think everything Ron Rivera does is for a reason, too. Mm. I think there's probably a, a reason he's airing it out publicly, mm. and it might be, let's get it out, out in the open, let's address it now, because the season doesn't start for another month, and we got to be ready for that. Mm. I'd love to see Commander's practice today. Can yeah. I tell you? Yeah. I hope the enemy rides the hell out of him. <laughs> The, the Ron down. Rivera angle is, is, is unusual, the, the PR thing, and I, I hear that. Ron, at this point, has been done enough laps around this league yeah. that I think he's kind of from the hip, which is fine. I respect it. I hate that the players are going to him complaining. I, I really do. Mm. Like, you're the commanders, I think. You're allegedly the commanders. I don't really know who you are. You won eight games, seven games, who cares games the last few years. Eric Benny missed Super Bowl rings. Like, he, he's been there. He's been so far past where any of you guys have gone you know what's interesting about the roster? I was looking at their offense, and I'm like, I bet it's a bunch of guys who've never won anything. And it's not. They have Super Bowl winners they brought in from other teams. They have a whole list of national championship winners from mm. college and Ohio State and Alabama. Like, these guys should know. And I'm reminded of them saying, like, I don't know. Coach Bienemy is mean. It's like we're looking at Sean Payton in Denver, and he's like, no, no, no bucket hats and crap on the sideline. This is why Sean Payton came in. Like, this is what you paid him for. Mm -hmm. You could have had anybody you wanted. You picked him. So let him do what he wants. 
You could have had a million coordinators run the Sam Howell Express on offense. You got one of the most desired, one of the most decorated guys of the last decade. Let him do whatever the hell he wants. It is August whatever. Mm -hmm. We're still already complaining about this. It's also like camp's been on a couple of weeks and everyone's getting a little sore, yeah. a little tired. Like, it's a little bit whiny, whiny, whiny for a team. Now, if the Chiefs was doing this, if it was the Eagles, fine. It's the commanders, the alleged commanders. And look, Eric Bannemi played his football in the late 80s and early 90s that made him who he is. That was a different sport back then. I mean, it was Oklahoma drill and we're doing this yep. and bring your track shoes to practice. Like, you got to keep some of that. Mm -hmm. You really do. And I would just say these players, whoever they are, who are going to Ron Rivera and saying Eric Bannemi's mean, <laughs> look at Tyreek Hill's tweet. All right, yep. now Tyreek Hill is all over the map on a lot of things and... This is pretty strong. He comes out after the story. Man, there's no other coach that has your back like Eric Bieniemy. Take that coaching and get better. We've all been through it. It's tough, but I promise we'll make you better. That's just basic right on the screws. Listen to him. He played for Bieniemy for years. Super Bowl champion. Like, I hate that they're complaining. And it's, it, it taps into a lot of softness, generational participation trophy. You guys have never done anything in this league with this team. Do something. Listen to the guy. He's done it. So shut up, listen, and run. <laughs> I totally agree. I'll, I'll just keep piling it on because on top of Tyree Kill's tweet, I, I went back in February. Patrick Mahomes had a tweet about he got? when he got hired, and he oh, glowing. There should be no questions mm -hmm. on how great of a man Coach Coach Bieniemy is. His leadership had a direct impact on the person and player I am today. Ten plus years learning under one of the greatest coaches of all time, Patrick Mahomes says. And I cannot wait for him to continue to prove doubters wrong. Here they are. Here are the doubters. Yeah, Unfortunately, good. it's on his own roster. It's his own players. This is really, the, the co word concerned is in quotes. This is concerning for the guys on the team. You don't have an open mind enough. Whatever was happening and whatever team you came from or the current system that you were in, that you're three weeks in and you have this much of an issue mm -hmm. with tough love, yeah. if you will, that... Yeah, so I, I, I take a lot of issues with going to Ron Rivera, mm -hmm. Ron Rivera yeah. airing it out. It, it's like, yeah. have an open mind about something that clearly wasn't working and try something new on for make, size. Make no mistake, Ron knew who and what he was getting with the enemy. Ron Rivera is a disciple of Andy Reid. Ron Rivera knows mm -hmm. Spagnolo very well. Yeah. Ron Rivera is very connected to that Andy Reid tree, which Eric the enemy is right in there as well. And these guys have interacted for decades. So like, is not. No surprise to the coaching is that this is how the enemy's coaching style is. I think the fact that it was aired out and that it's out in public, that might be. Can I can I play devil's advocate? Say to the point where the enemy's in there and he's flipping chairs and it's just like outrageous and players are looking at it as, all right, well, this the enemy guy is well decorated, but it's just like, all right, well, Andy Reid was there too. Can I play that? If I'm a player in a room and it's just like, all right, like, you're talking crazy to me. Like, my mom wouldn't talk to me this way. Is, th is that a point where it's just like, well, coach, like, you brought this guy in. Like, is he okay? Is there a certain extent where it's not just, all right, tough love? It's just like, no, like, he's really wild. Sure. Listen, if we find out he's setting fires in the meeting room <laughs> and, like, hurting people, yeah. Yeah. But to me... I don't know. A lot of wah, wah, wah. Yeah. I, I just, I'm not, you tell me. If someone looks at Eric Bieniemy as you're a coattail rider for Andy Reid, like that, those are fighting words for sure. And like, I, I don't see him that way. I've never seen him that no. way. But um, again, you are the commanders. Like, do something ever mm -hmm. in, in, in my adult life and then say they're coaching us too hard. They're making us touch the line. Touch the line. You should. I'm not mad at that at all. There, I, there is a new season of, of tough love, like hard-nosed coaching that's emerging right now. And the Sean Payton style was good. people really trying it on for size. And I feel like now maybe this new era of like um, Nick Sirianni at Eagles practice with the bullhorn, like maybe we're kind of coming full circle. It's on coming these. back. Pendulum. Yeah, the swinging. pendulum it's good. is swinging. Um, Hope it does in a lot of walks of life. <laughs> not just football coaching. <laughs> like beating your kid 100 to nothing. Yeah. yeah that's it. I know. Um, was, as I say, we had LaShawn McCoy on the show here. Like I think he's been public right. about Go it. Go on. Shady ass takes. <laughs> Shady's takes on Eric Bieniemy, and when he airs him out, people are like, like oh, that's a shady. Like, shady says it. He played there. Like, there are people who played in the Chiefs organization who are like, he just wasn't my cup of tea. So, again, yeah. Ron knew this was coming. Maybe the players weren't mm. ready for what they're mm -hmm. getting. Yeah.